in force, the longer the brace is, the more weight it can take before breaking. This is because each brace is basically a very stiff spring, and it needs to be compressed or stretched 10% to break. So a brace that's one grid long does not need to be compressed much, only 10% of its entire length, in order to be crushed. Whereas a four long needs to be compressed four times as much to be destroyed. Uh, there's probably some weird math to do with springs that makes it even stronger. I'm, I'm not a math nerd. And so that's why any time where you need to build out more defense, but you think, uh, I probably shouldn't because I'll collapse my own base, and my front node is already blinking, you just need to remember that you can overlap a longer forelong bracing and you just won't have that problem anymore. That's why if you watch the Force Pro League, which you should, because you can learn a lot just from watching the pros play, you'll see that on vanilla, for example, they'll do this thing where you get a million forelongs in the front of your base and you never collapse again. So this entire video is basically me going to be saying longer brace better and you can overlap them. On stalactites, for example, uh, generally you're sort of less likely to fall off, but still, you know, if you get damaged or, I don't know, some of this stuff breaks, you don't want that. You can do this great, really easy, pretty cheap structure. Boom. You can now support a load more weight. Uh, and if instead of building weapons down like this, you instead support them from longer braces like this, it'll support a lot more weight. You can have more of them. Longer brace better. Longer brace better. I'll show you one more example. Uh, balls. Now, uh, I mean, this will still be useful even if you do the uh, ball swing, but this map, there's a lot of short bracings, you can't hold much weight. Um, hang on. Stuff's already getting pretty blue. Some of these are going to be the first to snap. These little tiny little one long supporting uh, stresses horizontally. Not good. So what you can do is just replace them entirely. It seems a bit counterintuitive, just deleting parts of your base. Like, what if deformation? But trust me, it's fine. The end result will be far better. Uh, you can probably do these as well. And also... Parallel three long, drag down, get a four long. You can do that on the bottom too. Amazing. Your fort is now so much stronger. I mean, technically you can get them here, but uh, it feels a bit overkill. Especially if uh, you're not going to be getting a, a million defense. Now let's try the same thing. Building out. And the first thing to break is probably going to be the defense itself. See, the defense itself and everything else broke except the base. The first thing to break was a two long here and the one long here. So longer brace better and you can overlap them. Let me just make a, a quick example here. Let's say, I don't know, this is the back of your base. You're building weapons on top here. First of all, you shouldn't build too longs to support your weapons anyway, but if you have, you can uh, just do this, like two here, one three long here, and then drag, boom, four long. Three long, oh, that's a bit angled. Four long, amazing. Uh, but generally, it, yeah, 
two two by twos or uh, two grid by two grid not great for supporting stuff because it's weak you only really want to do that when you've got to store stuff if you're i don't know supporting something i mean this is a bit better or you could even um hang on let me go back to vanilla Yeah, what a lot of people do is they do three longs in the back of the base, which is great because, well, they're stronger than two longs, and it also matches good with your turbine placement because less efficiency, more efficiency. And then what you can do is drag them into the back of your base, essentially strengthening the spine so that when your weapons are on top, they're supported more. And then you can build back um you can skip a ground node because ground nodes cost extra money you want to avoid building ground nodes or you could even uh if you're going to be supporting a lot of stuff you can get like uh four longs boom this is going to be really really strong like absolutely nothing is ever going to be collapsing these bracings ever and if you get stability tech in the front as well like uh so boom 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 it takes a bit of practice but honestly once you get it it's uh, a life changer Oops. I'm just dragging like any time I can get a four long drag in. If you get this uh, special node here when you do your stability tech and you want to build defense out, you can drag down from here and get these two bracings here, which are great. And now, look how much defense I can have. Nothing's even blinking. And the first thing to break was the defense itself, not our base. So, yeah, the entire video is me saying longer brace better and you can overlap them. That's it. Have fun and don't collapse. You're welcome.